is Greenpeace's uh, uh, brand new uh, ship. It's uh, 21st century technology. It's the first ship we've had um, custom built. And uh, it's a sailboat, so it's, you know, most of the time we can run it powered by the wind, which is great. It's great for Greenpeace to be able to uh, use our ships in the most environmentally sustainable, uh, modern way, which is what this sailboat does. Can you keep coming up, I can show you a bit of the rest. Um, so right up here you can see uh, the mass. How tall is it? Uh, the sails, the, the mass are 55 meters tall, which is really tall for a sailboat like this. Um, it allows us to go really fast. We've uh, reached speeds of 15 knots while we're sailing. Yeah. Awesome. Um, hi, I need to take them off. Is there like a sure, yeah. Give me just one second. Go ahead. Sorry to interrupt. No, that's fine. Um, you guys just uh, walk carefully down these stairs. Uh -huh. And uh, to the right back and down whatever we get started, we can see the So, this is Greenpeace's uh, brand new ship. Um, we're really, really excited to bring it to Tampa and talk to people about the campaign work that Greenpeace is doing all around the world. Um, right now we have an active campaign that we just launched uh, against coal-fired energy. So we just launched a campaign against Duke Energy. Uh, that's a company that burns mostly coal, uh, which is the dirtiest kind of uh, energy that we use to make electricity in this country. Uh, it's a leading cause of climate change in the U.S. And Duke Energy is merging with Progress Energy, which is the electricity utility that services a lot of people here in the Tampa area and sells them their electricity. So we've got a banner up here right now, as you can see, asking the company to make progress and quit coal. We're asking Duke and Progress, when they merge, to be a sustainable energy company and to use wind and solar and clean energy instead of coal-fired energy. So we're here talking to folks in Tampa a bit about that.